And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to wrap a word around a corner in Adobe Illustrator. At first make sure in the view you've got the smart guides and snap to point activated. We'll now use the type tool. I use a palindrome so race car is a simple one where the E is in the center. So we exactly know where the center position is. Just align it to the center with the top menu. While you have the selection activated, you can choose that. Then press Ctrl R for the rulers and drag a ruler to the center. Hold Shift when you drag it and it will snap to the center position. Then right click, create outlines for your text. And now we'll use the knife tool. There it is. So you might see the eraser tool. Just right click on it, hold Alt and then Shift while you drag. It'll snap and you've got it right at the center. Let me press Ctrl R again and I get rid of the guide under view. Guides, clear guides. So it's still connected. Let's go to object, ungroup. And now we can select half of it. Oh, there was one shape missing. I press Ctrl Z. Let me select that again and now right click group. We create a group out of the left, half as well. So we've got two groups now. Now we need the perspective grid tool. When you press Ctrl Shift I, you can blend it in or out. And I will surely make a specific video about this tool because it's quite complex. For now, just drag on the right hand side on this point and at the bottom to adjust the grid. And now use the perspective selection tool. Drag it into your grid and when you press 1 you are on the left hand side and when you press 3 it switches to the right hand side. So this is the way to navigate through this three dimensional space. Once again I need to change it to 3 and then I size it up. When you're done just press Ctrl Shift and I. To blend out the perspective grid tool, select it all and I connect it with the shape builder tool again. To so make it one shape and we can transform it easily with the selection tool. If you want to add a gradient, no problem with that. Just use the default here, sky for example. We'll make it radial and then I use the gradient tool and go from top to bottom. And that's it. This is how you can write a word on a corner in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.